Hi everyone, welcome to Browse Stack webinar. My name is Karthik and I'm part of the customer success team here at Browse Stack. The webinar today is aimed at all new users uh, who are getting started with Live. I hope this will help you and your team to start using Browse Stack a little bit more effectively. Uh, I will take you through some examples and small demos which will uh, be helpful for you guys. So let me just start by giving a brief idea about the reason why Browse Stack exists. Browse Stack was actually a brainchild of two people, Nakul and Nitesh. Uh, they were both developers who were facing issues when it came to testing their websites. Uh, Browse Stack was born out of the need for developers to have a testing platform. It's a platform made by developers for developers. At Browse Stack, we truly understand that and we know what uh, developers want and we work towards giving them that. So this was a bit on the history of background on history of browser stack. Now let's get to the topic at hand and dive right into live testing. So there are different types of live testing. They're classified basically into six different types. There is functionality testing, there is usability testing, there is compatibility testing, there's interface testing, there's performance testing and security testing. Out of these, Browse Tech helps you with the first three. We'll start by looking at functionality testing. As the name suggests, this is where you're checking if the website or web app is functioning properly. First, you would be looking at the links. You're making sure if the links are correct, there are, there are no dead links, there are no redirects, and there are no wrong links. The idea is to make sure that uh, you, when a user comes onto your uh, website or web application, uh, there is no link that leads them to a blind spot or uh, they end up not reaching somewhere they wanted to while when they click a link. Next would be the forms. You just have to make sure if the forms accept the correct information inputs, uh, the default values on these uh, on the input box are correct. And once you click submit button, it actually submits and there is no there are no errors that are thrown. If your uh, website or web application depends on cookies, it would be imperative for you to check if the cookies are created properly. And in case if you if they're deleted, what would be the reaction or what would be the thing that happens to your web application or website? Uh, next up would be the HTML CSS. You have to make sure if it's being rendered properly or not. And that will be, we will definitely help you with that because we have dev tools specifically geared towards this. So let's get into the demo. This is the web, uh, Browse Stack Live dashboard. This side is the OS, and this is the side where you can choose the browser. Let's go for Windows 10, and let's choose latest Firefox. So right now, uh, I'm being assigned to the later, uh, nearest data center, and a brand new pristine device is being assigned to me. As you can see, it's starting up on Browse Stack as I had used Browse Stack last time and uh, what I will do right now is just check basic links. Let's say I go to this. This is just, I'm just making sure if everything is all right, all the links are working. Uh, this is one of the links. You can, you will obviously going into all your links and if you have a navigational bar or if you have a sitemap for that matter. You could just go through that and make sure every, all of the links are working perfectly fine. Next up, we will go to a form. Let's go to the webinar form that we have. What I would be doing here is filling up the form with, let's see, some data, making sure the form is working correctly. The idea is to use the form properly and make sure you input everything and see if it works. Yeah, the, I have submitted the form and it's worked properly for me. The other thing that I would be doing here is going to the dev tools and checking the cookies. 
in case your website or web application is dependent on them make sure that the cookies are created properly the expiries and everything are correct and in case you delete one of these it still doesn't affect the performance of your website or in case if you want it to affect it should whichever way it's happening then you can also check if you go to the inspector tab this is where you can check if anything is wrong with the HTML and CSS and if there is anything wrong you can actually create an issue directly from browser stack live dashboard so let's if you go to the doc you can actually click this we have an integration with Jira we have an integration with Trello we have an integration with github slack what you can do here is add that and you can create an issue which will directly send a screenshot which will give you give the person uh, give add details regarding the session and you would be able to create a proper issue on Jira or any of these integrations that we have we would love to hear from you if you want a new integration added to this and also in case you don't have any of these and you just want to download an image that also can be done right here if you use edit and download you can pinpoint what is the issue and tell them what is exactly required of them to do here let's just stop this session and what next up is usability testing uh, this is more about the navigation and user journey you have to make sure every menu every button and everything else is working properly you can also check you also need to check if the content is correct there are no grammatical errors there are no typos the idea here is to make sure the user gets the perfect experience or the expected experience out of this and it's fairly straightforward i'll just take you through the demo to just give you an example on how a user how you would test a user journey here let's go back here let's choose something else this time again the same thing i'm being assigned a new device uh, I, this is again choosing the nearest data center for me let's go to the browser stack website so the user journey would here would generally depend on a person coming on to browsestack.com then going to one of the products uh, let's assume the uh, user journey here is there's a new person who has new client or customer who has come to browsestack and is going to the pricing page and bu buying a product so i would click on the pricing page and so load the pricing page then i'll choose a plan let's say i choose this popular plan Choose this. It takes me to this page. What I've done here is basically check if all the things that I'll do on this journey is working properly or not, making sure every drop down, everything else is working perfectly. This helps to understand how the user will experience the website and make sure that none of the experience is hampered in any way. Let's go back on this. Other thing that you would be looking at is definitely the grammatical errors and typos that again hampers the uh, user experience and making sure everything is perfect and everything is right is pretty much important. And especially when on a website or a web application where this will lead to a certain reaction from the customer or the user, it is very important. Now let's move on, move back to, let's switch, stop this session and move back to uh, demo uh, our slide deck so next up is compatibility testing compatibility in simple terms is making sure your web application or website is working across browser os and mobile device as simple as that this is kind of the main thing that browsestock was built for Obviously, it has evolved into a lot, but this is one of our core competencies, if you will. And I'll just give you an understanding on how the, we have made sure it's much easier for you to do that on Browser Stack. Let's go to Browser Stack right now. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, you get the option to test your website or web application on these various different OS and obviously these various browsers. 
let's say you have you go to Android and you want to test on Galaxy S9 Plus Chrome. Let's go that go there. So right now, this is an actual device that's booting up. A physical device that exists in a data center near you is actually being booted into. What it has done is now gone into Chrome and browse tag has opened as that was the last link that I had opened. Now this is how it will look on a real Galaxy S9 Plus device. What we can do here is let's say you want to see if this is how it looks on the mobile device. Uh, I just want to see how it will look on a desktop. I can switch it right from here. I can just click switch, go to Windows, Windows 8.1. Mm, let's go for Chrome. What we'll do, what we are doing right now is checking the shift from a mobile device to a desktop device. Just making sure if the responsiveness of the website is working perfectly or not, which it is. As you can see, there are, the experience has nicely translated onto a desktop page. Uh, the idea here is to give you a good, a good speed in terms of understanding if it goes from, uh, let's say, a mobile device to a desktop device. Uh, you can also do these things using screenshots tool that we have, but this allows you to interact with your page, which is what many of the people might want to do. Uh, the switch exactly allows you to do these things. The other thing that you can use is definitely the resolution. You can change the resolution to according to the popular resolution that you have on your website based on Omniture or based on Google Analytics data that you get. Let's say I want to change it to this particular resolution. So as you can see, the resolution has changed and the website has changed accordingly. And uh, as you can see, the website is still working. Everything is fine. And it's still, there's, there are no issues with the website. This is something you'll definitely be looking into. Uh, let's see now your website or web application changes according to where a user comes from. Uh, that is when you'll use the location feature. So for the desktop devices, we have IP location right now, which we launched just recently. Uh, you can look into these 40 plus different locations that you can change your IP address to. You, in, in terms of a mobile, app, a mobile device, you can uh, change even the GPS location of the device. So in case your web, uh, web application or website checks that, uh, it will definitely be helpful for you so that you don't have to do any kind of Thing on your end, you can just select it right here and make sure these changes happen. And then this again, like I said earlier, we definitely have the integrations here live. You can choose those integrations, raise issues directly from here. Everything works perfectly fine. Uh, this was a brief understanding or brief idea as to how you would be using um, Browse Tech Live dashboard how this will help you do uh, compatibility testing or any of the live testing that exists. Uh, this, I hope this has given you a basic idea on how to do this. This is where I would end my session with you guys. And in case you have any questions, you can reach out to us at success at browserstack.com and let us know if you have any questions and if I can help you. So that's about it. Thanks everyone. Thanks for joining in. Bye.